Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome to this brand new video. The last video of 2022. So the year has come to an end and my collection has doubled this year. It went from 16 pairs in the end of 2021 and it's now 33 pairs. So I'm going to take you through my whole collection I picked up this year. First, a little tech story. I have had several pairs in hand this year that I reselled uh, to buy other pairs to make more content. And were also a lot of shoes that I just returned to the store. I will just quickly go through that list and then we'll go on to my collection that it is right now. A few of the shoes were the Yeezy 350 Dread. First time I've got a pair of Yeezys. I ordered those for someone else, so that, that, that was the original plan. Then after that we had the Yeezy 350 MX Rock, I also bought for someone else. Then we had the Nike SB LA Dodgers, and I resell those because uh, back then I didn't think they were that great for me. Looking back at those shoes, I am a bit sad that I sold them. Then we have the Nike SB Cherries. Reselled those. That, that's a story that I will give you guys soon. Air Trainer ones, Travis Scott. Got both of them, the gray and the brown one. Uh, both I resold. So, that being said, we now move on to the first shoe. So, the first pair we are going to look at is actually the latest I picked up. That is the Neckface SP Dunk. I bought this pair for myself and also a pair for my girlfriend. Uh, I bought it because of her 20th birthday and I just had to buy them both because she likes them, I like them and that's why I needed both of them. The Jordan 1 Lost and Found. When I saw this pair of shoes, I needed a pair. So I entered all the raffles and I got early access on Nike sneakers app. So I was very happy with that. Then we stay in this closet. The first moment I saw this pack, I needed it. And it wasn't actually me who got the pair. It was my girlfriend uh, who got both. And I'm very happy that she got both because it was first come first served and they released at the exact same time so it was almost impossible and she just I don't know what she did but she managed to cop them both so I'm very happy with that then the last shoe of this closet is this Nike collaboration with Concepts such a clean looking shoe very simple, but at the same time, just out there. My girlfriend actually got the heavy one. She got the rope style laces in there. And if you look at the bottom, she wears them very often. Such an amazing pair of Air Max ones. So I'm back on the couch. And as you can see, I've brought six boxes with me, even a sticker box. And there are also like three pairs around the corner. So we are first going to start with one of the latest pairs, the Hermes One Crab. And still that stock. And I like them. They are for sure staying in my collection. But I'm just waiting for the right moment. Then a pair that I wanted for so long. And I finally got a good deal on them. The Air Force One 1 800 full free shoe. Such a cool looking shoe. At the distance, you only can see the thing up here and maybe the gray swoosh. But when you look very close to it, you see all the little text details. Then another dead stock pair the Nike SB Dunk Low. Bart Simpson. Such a cool shoe, very good leather quality. I did not find the right um, 
moment and the right outfit to wear them so they are also staying in storage then maybe one of the weirdest pairs from nike that i collected this year the nike dunk collaboration with clot it's the um, flux colorway it is still available at nike in my opinion such a great shoe it's for sure a head turner and when i wore these in midsummer with the sun shining on them people from like across the streets were screaming to me like cool shoes so also in storage because it's very hard hard to make a cool outfit with them but another nike these were my first regular jordan ones so i'm talking about the jordan one heritage just the normal chicago colors but in this very different kind of looking such a underrated shoe in my opinion and people need to start wearing these a lot of people are also customizing these and turn them into bread toes or uh, black toes or something such a great shoe but in storage until next summer then on to my second pair of Gore-Tex Jordan 1s. As you can see, they are being uh, worn very often uh, because it's winter and they are the best winter shoes I currently have. They are warm, they are waterproof, they have like everything. But uh, yeah, I almost wear these like three or four times a week. This is, I think, my number one pickup of this year. It's the Nike SB Dunk Low Gnar Hunters. Very cool details. Um, I was in line for this shoe for, I think it was three hours uh, uh, in front of the store. Didn't manage to cop them. Did manage to cop the Cherry SBs, sold those and bought these. So my number one pickup of the year. Then my very special shoes that I have only worn like two times. And since February of this year, this is the Jordan Spazike. The reason why I didn't wear this often is because it is a pair out of 2013 that makes them fragile and also the paint just instantly dried up uh, when I bought these. Wore them once to the store and the paint crackled from the outsole, so I had to repaint them did make a whole video about it but i did not upload that video yet so that will come in the future then on to my only two adidas pickups this year adidas forum low in this colligate green colorway such a clean shoe but a simple very simple colorway and then the i think most controversial shoe of 2022 the adidas adifoam q one of my most comfortable sneakers or clocks as they are also called wear these to the store to the supermarket um, just a little walk around the block i just like these i will just buy other pairs of these and maybe mismatch them um, but yeah such a great shoe i want to thank you for watching to my youtube channel this year now i am making one year of weekly YouTube videos. Uh, in 2023, I will just continue making the Saturday unboxing videos and I will try to make some more content that I will upload during the week to give you guys more content to watch and help this channel grow to the next level. So I want to thank you for watching to my YouTube channel, to, for watching all my YouTube videos. Happy New Year and I'll see you next week.